Welcome back to Roto City Tech. Today, we got in a few parts for our solar system, so we are gonna temporarily install them and see what we get. Stay tuned. So today, we did get in our solar charge controller. Now this is just a cheap one on Amazon. It is a 30 amp controller and it does have all the same connections as our other controller. But with this one, we can hook up the full 200 watts and we could also hook up the 50 watt one that's on the roof and go ahead and combine it into this controller and it can handle all of that. We also got in this amperage monitor. I opened up one of these. This looks similar to a voltage meter, especially the one that I installed in the Wolf Pup long ago. But you loop the wire that you want to read through this and it will read the amperage so that we can monitor how much the camper is drawing. So first things first, we are going to take our old controller and we are going to connect those wires to our new controller. What's cool about this new controller is that it comes with a little bitty screwdriver, which is kind of handy. Maybe we won't have to get out many tools. So, open this up here. This little compartment should just slide right off like that to unveil all our connections and our little screwdriver. There it is. So, here we've got these four connections. These are the two coming from the solar panel, and these are the two going to the battery. So let's just undo those. All right, we should be done with that. Now you'll notice USB connections there. We've got four here. There's just two there. We do have our light bulb, and then the light bulb there, our solar, and our battery, just the same as this one. This one um, does feel a little bit better. It's got a little more heft to it or something, and this metal back, back in here. There's where we uh, you would mount it, which we will do eventually, but for now we're just gonna temporarily get this set up. So, you'll wanna pay attention to this plug goes to your solar so you'll want to look right there and you can see your solar panel of course you've got a red and a black so you want to make sure you put those in the right ones slide that into the red This one has just a little bit of red tape on the end. Uh, you could follow it all the way to the end of your alligator clips. Luckily this one has a little bit of red tape on it so that we can know for sure. Slide those in. At this point, unless you wanted to hook up that light, we are done connecting these wires. What's cool about this is this little cover just kind of cleans it up so when we do get that mounted it's going to look really nice compared to that one I've got the solar panel set up so this is just the 200 watts and I've got my little controller set up right here I'm going to try to zoom in where hopefully you can read I'm learning about this controller so there's our current voltage that we're charging at. This is the voltage from the solar panels. I believe that's the amps that are going into the battery. And then that is the load, which is what would be hooked up right here. So right there, it's at least saying we're charging at four amps. Got no load on it right now. Battery uh, temperature. There's our voltage right now, and the volts coming from the panel.
So as you can see, it jumped up the amps to six and a half because we must have got a lot of sun all of a sudden. Yeah, there's 14.6 coming from the solar. Yep, 6.7, 6.4 amps. So this menu is kind of cool. I don't really know. I was looking here at the manual and if you long press both buttons, it goes into a new menu that shows you the number of low voltages, which is zero, the working days, which I thought that was maybe how many working days you have, but now it's showing zero. So I'm not quite sure. The instructions aren't so great with this. Number of overcurrent events, number of charge full, which shows one. So, and then it goes back to your main. The PV is your solar putting out. Seven amps now, we got lots of good sunlight. The load is zero, temperature is 18 degrees Celsius, and we're charging at 13.5 volts. That's what our battery is, actually. We're charging, so we have five, yeah, six amps going in, and we're charging, I believe, at the PV rate from the solar, which is 13 point, yeah, five. So, yeah, this is really awesome, actually. So it's the same setup with my solar over there connected to this little deal from Harbor Freight that you, where you can connect multiple different panels. We're going in here to my new charge controller and then we're going up to the battery. Now, the other cool thing is I want to measure the amperage, the draw, the amp draw that my camper is having. So I put this on the main cable going to my camper. I'm gonna try to set this up where y'all can see it. All right, hopefully I can get this to where we can see where currently, so this is wrapping around that main one, and then I need to touch this end to the negative, and this end to the positive. Right there, we're showing 3.5, 3.6 amps going to the camper right now. So I'm going to go turn on some lights and turn on those little USB fans, and we'll see what the draw is after that. So that was actually with two USB fans on and the main cabin lights on. So I turned all that off, and we'll see. Ah. Point two. Point one. I'm gonna turn it back on. All right. So now that I have, I have main cabin lights on. I have two fans on. I have the awning lights on and the slide lights on. So now we're running. We are drawing 5.3 amps. Yeah, this is going to be super helpful. And I look down and we are putting in 5.7 amps. So theoretically, we're still putting in more than we're using, if I'm understanding this correctly. All in all, I do think that this controller and this little amp amperage reader is going to be pretty helpful. We're able to read the amps that are coming out that the battery, I mean, that the camper is using. And that's going to tell us a lot when we're out there boondocking. I'm pretty happy with this controller. It seems to be doing the job. And it is doing much better than the other one. It's giving me the full, uh, full 200 watts at least. A minute ago when the sun was shining, we were going at, I think it was like 16 volts. Charging at almost 7 amps. So... That's pretty awesome. The next step is figuring out where to mount all of this. Now, I do want to mount the solar controller in this front compartment here where the other one is currently. So I think I can take that one out 
and mount the new one in there and hook up that solar panel into this controller alongside the rest of these and then I'll have all 250 watts and then what I would like to do is mount the mount the amperage reader possibly on this wall here shining into the cabin so that's gonna shine uh, right next to the master bed and that will give us a good place where we can constantly monitor that now I probably will also install a little toggle switch to turn that off and on so that it's not constantly on but um, I'm going to leave my solar panels and stuff out here charging for the rest of the day and kind of just monitor it. I have the camper unplugged and I'm going to monitor that and see how that voltage goes. I've got a lot of those lights on still. You can see the blue lights up there. They're still on. So we are using some amperage. The fridge obviously is running and we're going to see what happens. But for now, I'm pretty excited about that little controller. I think it's going to be exactly what we need and then when I finally decide on the batteries that I want to use, I think we're really going to be in the clear. But for now, I think me and Holden are going to go play. So anyways, thanks for watching Roto City Tech. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see y'all next time. Say bye. No chill.